So there are many DAWs or digital audio workstations, if you don't know what that means yet, that you can utilize while live looping. You have Ableton, Reaper, Cubase, Studio One, Pro Tools, whatever, the list goes on. But what I'm about to show you is what I consider the best DAW that you can use for a live looping session. So come with me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Hi friends, I'm Arthur and this, uh, what is, okay. So this is a live, this is a live looping looping tutorial, yet another RC505 Mark II tutorial. This time, I thought about showing you what I consider the best DAW out there for live looping. Because when we are live looping, we really want to be fast, we really want to be able to change presets and instruments, utilize many uh, virtual instruments sometimes, and Although you can do that with any DAW, I think there are little things that some DAWs do better than others and that can really help or throw off your performance. So that's where Gig Performer comes in. I don't know if you have heard of it before, but Gig Performer is a type of DAW. So you can open up all your virtual instruments on it just like any other DAW. But the good thing is that it has some capabilities, some settings that you can mess with that will help you to make your live loop sessions lighter on your computer and also easier for you to see what you're doing and organize yourself. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we are at our loop station station. Now let's open up a uh, gig performer. Here on the left, I have the rack spaces, right? So each line here is a rack space. Each rack space is attached to a plugin, to a virtual instrument. So in this case here, I organized as drums acoustic. So that's a VST, that's a plugin that sounds like a acoustic drum. Inside each rack space, as you guys can see, I can just click it. I can see each preset, the ones that I think that are most important that I like to use during my sets to change them as easy as clicking. So as, as you guys can see, whenever I click on each preset, it loads up here and it's already making the sound. So if I choose the pop and I play here on my MIDI keyboard, you guys can hear the sound, right? Or maybe not. Yay, there we go. So as you guys can see, if I choose the drums acoustic preset, the preset pop, it's the pop sound. If I change to dry, it's already another sound. Maybe I want to make a layer and I want to perhaps layer some drum sounds. So maybe I can record a dry drum sound like this. Right? It's recorded. It's looping. And maybe I want to really fast, I want to change to an electronic sound over it. So I can choose this big wave preset and maybe put some hi-hats. But that's it, that's, that's, it's easy as that. So this is for drums, but I can also, maybe I wanna add a piano here and just click piano and choose one preset. So while my drum is playing, I can play the piano as well. That's it, that's as easy as that. So I th what I think it's the most interesting about Gig Performer is that first, it's really easy to change between presets, to change between sounds. And it's really easy to see, you know, like I can see what I'm doing because it's in a list form. I can actually, it's really easy to see which preset and which sound I'm choosing. And also just clicking, right? I just click and it's already loaded so I can play whatever preset or whatever sound I want. So that's this is pretty good, this is pretty amazing. I also have some percussions here. There we go. So this is how I organized my, my live performance, right? So you can organize however you want. You can even change the names here. So I, I put drums acoustic because it makes sense to me, but you can change to whatever you want. Well, there's a one downside. You have to set this up yourself. And this can be a little bit scary the first time you see it. That's how, how it is, the setup here. So for each rack space, you have a different wiring. So you have your audio interface, which in this case, the RC505 here. You have the MIDI in, the MIDI signal coming inside your virtual instrument, which in this case is Analog Lab. The sound of this plugin comes out to my global rack space, which I'm gonna get in a second. And there you go, it's basically like that. You don't have to do this ex exact setup, this exact wiring, but I do it this way because when I send the sound to the global rack space, and this is the global rack space, by the way, and when I send the sound to it, I can add some widgets to it. So for example, I have this gain button here that it's uh, attached to my MIDI keyboard right here. So whenever I twist this knob on my MIDI keyboard, I'm altering the gain of 
the plugins of the virtual instruments. So that's that comes really in handy because I can dial how much gain I want for each instrument at different times. So for example, if I want to play a drum VST, the gain it's kind of okay but maybe if i want to add a, a hi-hat on top it's gonna sound pretty loud most of the times i can record first record the the kick drum and the snare then i can turn down the knob and i can record the hi-hats on top much better, right? So this is kind of a live mixing thing you can do with your gain, but you can also do with many other things. So my MIDI keyboard only has one knob, so that's why I, I just use it. But if I had more knobs, I would certainly use them for different things. Also, one pretty good thing about Gig Performer is that we have an option here if you go to options general, we have this predictive loading option setting that if I turn it on, so you see it reduces the RAM and CPU requirements by only loading the selected rack space and the next few rack spaces above or, or below it. So that really saves a lot of RAM and CPU power, really, it's amazing. You kind of have to organize yourself beforehand, but it's totally doable. And when you do it, you just have to do one time. And once you're done, you are, you're done. You're basically configured and you are, you're good. You're good to go. I don't know if you can do that in any other DAW available, even main stage, which by the way, if you have main stage, you are already pretty good, but I'm pretty sure you don't have any options regarding this optimization of how to uh, load your presets and load your VSTs, right? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't have main stage, but I wish I had. So that's it. That's Geek Performer. Now, one downside to Geek Performer is that it's unfortunately not a free software. Of course, this time nothing's free, right? So here's the the Geek Performer web page. So uh, a license for Windows, either Windows or Mac is $169, $169. Or you can purchase for both, for Mac and Windows, which is $200. If you compare this to Ableton, for example, which is a pretty popular DAW, that a lot of people use. It's way better, it's way cheaper. It's like half price of Ableton standard license, right? Obviously you can buy the cheapest license on Ableton, which I think is $99, but uh, you, you don't get to use more than 16 tracks, if I'm not mistaken. So in this case, you have unlimited tracks, unlimited instruments that you can load up and also customize your experience, right? And also to me, at least, this is the most interesting thing, which is the listing, right? The, this <laughs> vertical way of seeing things that to me makes so much sense. Anyway, so that's it. That's Gig Performer. I hope you like this and consider maybe buying their license. I think it's pretty good. Well, I'm not sponsored to do this video, okay? Gig Performer is not sponsoring me whatsoever. I wish they were, but they are not. So this is a free advertisement for them, I guess. But yeah, that's that's Gig Performer. That's it. That was Gig Performer. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please consider subscribing to the channel. I definitely want to do more of these vlog videos, tutorial videos, and looping sessions, looping tutorials, RC505 loop tutorials with DWs and stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so yeah, comment away, man. Comment away down here. What do you think about this video? Tell me what other issues or problems or even doubts you have with the RC505 that you would like me to talk about or live looping performances in general. And who knows, maybe I can help you, right? Maybe not. But yeah, this this was the video. I hope you have liked it. Have, I hope you have enjoyed it. Take care, eat well, drink water, and hydrate yourself. That's pretty important. Most people don't do that very often, you know? And yeah, we see each other around. I mean, this crazy, crazy world, right? Yeah, see ya.